Release 33 of the Automation Success Platform introduces advanced debugging capabilities for pro developers. Advanced debugging allows developers to quickly and easily debug complex multi-level automations, quickly move through and troubleshoot nested automations, use the call stack to track and navigate automation sequences, and adjust variables on the fly to pinpoint and fix issues faster. Advanced debugging not only helps developers bring faster resolution to issues, but also improves the automation quality and their productivity. Let us look at a demo to see how Marcus, our pro developer, uses this feature to quickly debug and resolve the issue he is facing. Marcus has created an automation for user registration to a website. The automation reads user details from an Excel sheet, enters them in the registration form of the website, and sends an email to the respective user informing their login credentials. When Marcus runs this automation, it fails with an error message in one of the nested child bots. With our current debugger tool, as you know, Marcus can debug only one bot at a time and may face some challenges such as, where do I start and which bot should I debug first? What is the sequence in which the child bots are called and how do I switch between them? How do I pass the input parameters to a child bot or output parameters to a parent bot while debugging? What variables should I print using message boxes to monitor its value? Marcus may spend more time to debug this issue. However, we are excited to share that with Release 33, we have simplified the whole debugging experience. It is simpler, easier, and quicker to debug a complex automation. With Release 33, Marcus can now debug the parent and child bot together, easily access the input and output parameters for each bot, use the call stack to navigate across the bots, view and edit the watch variables of each bot, we are sure this improvement will help our developers save time in debugging and resolving the issue. Let's go ahead and see this new debug tool in action. Marcus adds a breakpoint to a line which calls a child bot that was erroring out. He opens the debug tool and starts debugging the parent bot. As you can see, the bot enters the details of the first user in the registration form. A purple border highlights the current bot in a debug state. The left action panel is collapsed to provide more real estate to view the bot. The debugging is paused at the first breakpoint where the child bot is called. Marcus sees a new step in action in the debug toolbar and clicks it. The child bot opens right within the same bot editor canvas. Marcus can now continue debugging the child bot. Marcus sees a new call stack. Upon step in, a child bot gets added to the call stack. Using the call stack, Marcus can view and navigate across the sequence of bots, inspect the state of an individual bot and its variables. Marcus now clicks Add Watch Variables. It displays a list of all variables corresponding to the current child bot which he is debugging. Marcus selects one variable and adds it to the watch list for inspecting its value. He no longer has to use the message box to print the variable value. Marcus checks the key name of the first column for the user rec variable. It shows first name. He then clicks the mapping of fields in the variable and it shows F name. Marcus now confirms the key used for mapping variables in the record assign action is invalid. Marcus edits the email user bot and changes the key of the first column in the record assign action to first name. Marcus now runs the automation and the error is resolved. In this demo, we have seen how Marcus used advanced debugging to debug child automations, use the call stack to navigate across the automation and watch variable to inspect the current value of variables. Advanced debugging helps Marcus to isolate the root cause of the issue quickly and bring faster resolution to the issue. 
Marcus can now focus on building more automations rather than maintaining them and hence accelerate his productivity.